it's very clear as partners you're very aligned you're very driven to the same thing uh, towards the same thing um, but is that thing health I- is that your mission health for me has expanded dr- drastically in the last eight years of running amazing grace um, I realized in the beginning it was more like let's fight diabetes let's fight obesity let's fight cardiovascular disease in a country where that is very very serious um, I think on a more personal side as I did a lot of inner work and inner journey I think it actually just comes back to when I was young and um, you know being a chubby kid growing up I've always just had this very unhealthy relationship with food mm-hmm. and you know, it's always like beating myself up, feeling like, you know, I'm not the perfect shape. I'm not the perfect, you know, size ratio. I'm an Asian woman. Asian women are supposed to look small um, and dainty. And, you know, just like, and, and as part of that is actually not being seen. Like I'm trying to like not be really small in, in my society and not be loud. And so that's all coming back to a sense of like, a sense of identity, a sense of health. And I think as Um, Amazing Grace grew, I really, you know, and I tell my, and we talked about this as a team all the time, is what it means to be healthy. And I think, you know, being healthy mentally, being healthy, feeling comfortable in our bodies, loving ourselves Mm -hmm. more than the whole obesity crisis, which is very, very real, but more than obesity crisis, it starts with the war in our own head. And the war in our own head is how we're loving ourselves and how we're feeling about our bodies. And so health for me has now been like treating yourself right, you know, really treating the, uh, having a proper relationship with food. Um, And so like when people talk to us about the nutritional values of our food, they're like, oh, you know, it's not perfect. You know, you have a little bit of sugar or you have this, you have that. I always go back to the starting principle of what health means to me. And I think it's to love our food being balanced with the nutrition we get, not demonizing any particular ingredients mm. and saying, oh, well, you know, sugar is bad and we must not have zero sugar. And you know what's going to happen next if you have zero sugar? You're going to binge on sugar very, very soon. You're going to go and get that tub of ice cream and finish that tub of ice cream really soon. So I find it very problematic the way we're looking at health. And, you know, we've gone from one spectrum of going, okay, we're really, really help, you know, we, we're eating everything and we're eating all the processed food and too much sugar in our diet to let's demonize everything that has a little bit of sugar and and and, and not addressing really the, the 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 demon in all of us is just that unhealthy relationship with ourselves. Mm. Um, and we take it out on the external things around us. So I think that, I don't know if that's a way more complex answer than what you were looking for, which is it wasn't just like, oh, people are getting unhealthy and we must do something about it. It started off with that, but it actually became like, holy, holy crap, I'm not having a great relationship with my body and my food. Mm -hmm. And using that and Amazing Grace as a platform now is to go, well, let's, 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 let's look at this in the holistic manner. Let's have a better conversation about this. And given that that's your passion, the health and, um, your the way you look at yourself, the way you the relationship with food, mm-hmm. the, the the entire attitude you take towards food. Yeah. Um, when you look at Amazing Grace products, right? There's an identity to the brand, mm-hmm. right? Do you see your identity, all that you've just said, flow through the brand, Amazing Grace? Do you see people receiving that message from the product? I, I definitely think we've poured our love and hearts and personalities into the product. In terms of whether people have received that message, I think we still have a lot part to play okay. in engaging, connecting, um, and, and having a courageous voice in the market and being able to stand for something. I think for really long, we were really scared to talk about body image, to talk about you know, unhealthy relationship, love-hate relationship with food, regardless of your body size, mm. you know, and, 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 and I think that's, that's on us. Um, but I'm really encouraged. And this is one of the, you know, opportunities, what we're doing now, this conversation right now mm. is actually a step forward for us to go, well, as founders, if we're struggling with these issues at Amazing Grace, and I can tell you a lot of people within the company, men and women, mm-hmm. have these unhealthy issues or unhealthy but just like just not loving their bodies as they as they are 
um, you know, we have a huge mission. And so, yeah, so the products and the right now, I think we're not demonizing any particular ingredients. We're really trying to bring joy um, and, and innovation and everything about the product talks about, I hope, self-love, mm -hmm. self-acceptance, enjoying life a little bit. You know, let's not get too serious. Let's bring some colors. Let's bring some, you know, variety. Let's make sure things are natural. Like all that is the core essence of what really we believe and therefore we want to bring to the products and the brand. Um, and now we're communicating it. Sabrina, what about you? Is health the main driver for you? And if so, could you... So we all grew up, you know, our parents are saying, in, when we grew up, right, we don't know anything about health. The mm. only time you know about health mm -hmm. is your parents say, you need to eat this good for you, <laughs> right? Eat your veggies. <laughs> yes. Good you for need you. to eat we, this good for you. <laughs> I can honestly tell you, like, I never understood any of this until, until you know, Amazing, came in, Amazing Grace came into the picture. Mm. I started to understand, oh, whatever, whatever you eat is whoever you are. Like, it affects your body. Right, like all this time, you're just like, oh, that's what my mom said. Mm. I'll follow through. I'll mm. follow through. But now that, now that when we are going through it, mm -hmm. you understand. And then when we understand now, this is where we stepped in and go like, okay, it's time to spread the word. It's time to educate the market. And you can see that the markets right nowadays, consumers are being educated. They they know how to read the nutrition table. Mm. Before that, you can tell I can tell you like no one actually really turns to the bag and eat. As long as it's tasty, sweet, yummy, go ahead. Yeah. Right? So at I, most I at, think it was yes. not too sweet. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. So health mm -hmm. came for me late very later on, mm -hmm. where I started to understand a lot more. Mm -hmm. Right. Um I also start to think that okay, um, like for example, my parents are getting old. You you start to question yourself. What can we do now in order to prevent them to f no not to prevent them for for them to you know stay healthy longer? Mm -hmm. What can we do now? What can we feed them? We are constantly looking out for the best for them. I mean, eventually, even even my pet, my dog Jude, right? She's getting old, and I'm constantly thinking, what can I feed her? What can I provide her to 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 <laughs> Extend her, her prolong, extend, yeah. prolong her life, you know. Mm -hmm. So, health really came for me very, very later on. But I understand the importance, and I feel like it is, as AG, it is our duty to like try to to to, to educate the market and try to show ourselves. Like when Amy was talking about um, growing health, growing as a brand together with health, I think I see it differently in the sense that um, from the very beginning, we were all about the nutrition. We were all about um, what we put in our body. Mm. But as we grow, we mature. Personally, we mature as well, right? So therefore, the brand as well mature together with us to go like, okay, health is just not about the food or what we eat. It's about mental health. It's about how we treat our body. It's about how we, you know, what, what we can do on a daily basis to, just, to do. Because whatever we think, the stress level, it affects your body no matter how good of the food you eat. Mm. So I think that a brand has evolved together along with us as well, in right. that sense. Right. Okay. And and you, you think that when people think Amazing Grace, this is what they should be thinking about. It's not just, oh, low sugar or this, but it's, a, it's the bigger picture. Yes, correct. We hope so. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I think a brand today stands for a lot more just than the products. Mm-hmm. Um, that we're selling, you know, and I think we have a very privileged opportunity given that we're still alive. Um, you know, that the very people that started the company are still, you know, the spiritual, the 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 moral, you know, the force behind the company. We get a chance to really communicate what we want to stand for. And when people also engage with us, um, you know, when they're maybe giving their products to themselves and to their families, they're also in, you know, affiliated with the larger I guess, movement that I think globally we're seeing, which is mental health, um, empowerment of youth, mm -hmm. um, you know, self-love, self-confidence, longevity, living not just longer, but also quality lives. Um, so, so these are like the major themes of our generation today. Um, and and we're, we're very much participating in that. 